Once upon a time I learned that I not need to say an word if you will call black person. Need to say Nifo or Niba or something like this. Hey Niba, hey, come here. And uh, need to be polite and also politely, politically correct for them. Yes, need to be so uh, tolerant to them and today we're gonna watch one interesting video about it by the way i'm russian man who learns english through my own experiences and through comedies especially today we're gonna watch uh, our louis ck with uh, video and jam let's do this jim what is jim by the way need to need to translate it. jim who is it is it name jim ah it is jim like uh, from uh, S Stevenson Island Treasure Island <laughs> Mark Twain once said a oh, man who always tells the truth doesn't have to remember what he said and that's great doesn't have to remember what he said and that's great ah it means uh, that if uh, you will say true you should not do like, oh, Jesus, I should remember this, because uh, if you will say untrue, false information, you will be incorrect with your tho thoughts and you will be a liar. Let's continue the journey. I will not stop so much. But Mark Twain also said there once was a big black guy named Nigger Jim. So, I don't know if 100% of the things he said were perfectly awesome. <laughs> really, Mark Nigger Jim, you're gonna go with... That's the best you could do. To name the... Yeah, got, the, got him a nice ring to it, Nigger Jim. Yeah, well, it's a little on the nose, isn't it? <laughs> could have called him Black Mike. I mean, just a little... <laughs> take it down one notch of the... Thanks for that, Mark. Anyway, so while we're in this area, <laughs> now that I know you guys are cool, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Is it really that uh, in your country it is so, it is so uh, not right to say this uh, word? Because in Russia, Every child, no, not every, maybe 40, 30, 30, 40, 50 percent of uh, people can say nigger easily, without problems. And it, is, it will be not super like uh, we, are, we are hating you. It will be like a nigger, 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 and that's all. It will not be... Uh, but, but if you will say hey black blacked ass it will be not good as blacked means that uh, you have black ass ass means uh, that your boobs and uh, if you will say this it will be n not correct <laughs> more funnier will be uh, <laughs> nigger ass no it is so rude i I will try to be polite in this situation. I, I, I respect every person in our world. And it is disclaimer, by the way. And uh, in Russia, we don't have uh, this politefulness for uh, this kind of person. In uh, about Asians, in Russia, we call them like a narrow narrow eyes links if we will translate it yes it will be hey narrow eyes links come here and let's continue watching um <laughs> no no but uh but uh but but <laughs> this is a story that takes place i'm gonna tell you the story it's kind of a messy story it takes place over a lot of years because it started it started with my friend mike who told me the story this happened to him back in the 90s uh, he was going home for Christmas 
And uh, he lives in Connecticut. He grew up in Connecticut in some shitty shit town in shitty, shitty Connecticut. <laughs> and he didn't like going home. He's one of those people, he came from a place, doesn't like it anymore. And he goes back, he doesn't know how to ha handle his family, you know? And he came from a family of white racists and he doesn't like going home, but it's still home. So he went home for Christmas one year and everybody's hanging out during the day, talking, having lunch. And his father and his brother both work at this factory and his brother's grousing about his day at work and he goes, yeah, and then this fucking nigger fell asleep with the forklift. And then my, my friend Mike heard that and he went, oh God, why, why am I part of this people? I hate this. And he felt bad. And then that night he's in the kitchen and he's having a warm milk or whatever. And he, I don't, I don't, know, why that's, I don't know why that's funny, but what that says about him. Yeah, because he's a pussy. No. He's just sort of having some time to himself. And his cousin comes downstairs. He's staying and his cousin, he likes his cousin. That's the one person he always felt connected with. And his cousin's like, what's wrong, man? And he says, well, geez, I come home and I hope that everything would be, you know, normal. But then my brother says, oh, he's about the factory and this nigger fell asleep at the forklift. And his cousin goes, oh my God, the nigger fell asleep at the forklift? What is forklift? Forklift. Ah, I know. I know what is forklift. Forklift at this special machine on a uh, warehouse, yes? So this is the first part of the story. Okay, so Mike this. tells me that story about how he's just not listened to by anybody in his family. And then later on, I get a job writing on a TV show for Cedric the Entertainer. Great guy. And he had a show and he hired a writing staff, half white writers, half black writers. So at lunchtime, we talked about race. It was just, a, it, we'd have these provocative, interesting conversations, trading notes about race, the white writers and the black writers. And I told that story. I told the whole thing about the guy, nigger the forklift, and then the cousin saying, nigger the forklift, and then, <laughs> One of the writers, a black writer, he goes, there's nothing worse than a nigger falling asleep at the forklift. It's just like, uh, I feel some of um, feeling, it is feeling of uh, that somebody from your nation or from your team is not good enough and uh, everybody, is, everybody is good, but one person not, is not good. Ex except of one person and uh, it will be oh Jesus you do something that's uh, claiming our our whole world of niggers making it harder for the rest of us <laughs> still nobody's quite hearing what my friend was going through and then about a year later, I'm hanging out with my friend Dino. Dino's Greek, he has no dog in the race. He doesn't care either way. He's Greek, Greeks aren't white or black. They're just, he's just got a big nose and he just stands there. <laughs> and I told Dino the whole story. I told him about the guy, the forklift, and the guy, and then the black one. And then Dino says, how do you fall asleep at a forklift? I didn't catch this joke, but, oh, stop, stop. I didn't catch this joke. Hmm. Interesting that everybody was talking about uh, forklift, about how this person was sleeping on this forklift in this. And uh, I didn't catch this joke. I didn't find... Uh, I didn't find sense. Yes, first joke about Mark Twain was interesting because it was contrast about that uh, so smart quote from Mark Twain and uh, after that quote about there was a man called uh, Mike, Mike Nigger, G Nigger Jim. Yes, and uh, another other things I didn't understand. I understood story, but I didn't understand the uh, joke. If you can explain the, this joke, please leave in the comment section below your opinion about it. It will be really interesting to know. Have a nice, uh, wonderful day, night to midnight, tells uh, maybe early morning time. Today, right now, it's 7.45.
uh, a.m. It is good. And uh, thanks a lot. Have a, nice, have a nice day. And uh, be always nice and strong. And uh, be polite for people. Yes, our world, it is one whole product of God or maybe somebody else. Bye-bye.